lovely water signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jeannie. This is your intuitive reading for September the 16th till the 22nd, and I hope it resonates. But there is no time in the spirit world, so whenever you watch this is the right time for you, and I hope it resonates. And if you wait till the end, you get your own personal messages. Oh, I was feeling in a bright, happy mood today, so there's colour everywhere. So hopefully that'll lift up your vibration if you've been feeling tired or a bit ugh lately. <laughs> While I was shuffling and asking for messages, um, the Queen of Swords fell out, so this is a, a card that's covering your whole week, but the message that I got was be sharp. So the Queen of Swords is someone who can cut through the BS, see things clearly, very, very logical. But I also thought that's to do with music, be sharp. So some of you, it will be a message to concentrate on your music, okay? And the actual be sharp might mean something to you. Okay, so you start off the week with the five of, uh, oh, what is that? Um, the five of pentacles. Okay, right. So five of pentacles, like, fives, like I always say, is about choice, change, freedom. But fives are definitely about a choice. So here it is where you're thinking you either haven't got enough money or you're not good enough. This usually represents lack. Um, so change your perspective. It might be where you feel like you're missing out. Everybody else is getting everything or someone's not including me. Don't worry about that. It's your life, your choice, your path. So it's not really important and you will move on from that. And then clarifying it is the seven of uh, uh, wands. So I feel like you probably have been let down or things have gone wrong in the past. You haven't been able to achieve your goals or the things that you've set for yourself. But now the seven of wands is like you standing up, defending your position because you may feel something's going on for you guys where you're left out or people aren't involving you and now you're defending your position. Don't give up because you're nearly there. Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, don't give up, okay? And then you move on to... Um, the Six of Wands, because you are good at what you do. So this is where people are recognizing that whatever it is that you're working on or whatever you're doing, you're really good at it. Covering it, though, is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups can be when you're worn out through things that have happened in the past. And it's like someone's offering you something, but you're not really ready for it or you don't want it. So you guys will know what that is. It's also a card of where you might be quite exhausted to lift your vibration, do things to cheer you up so that you don't feel like that and you can see these offers when they come in or invites. And then you've got the two of pentacles. So this is where you're juggling things. You're trying to decide what to do with your money or what's going to make it feel safe or secure. You know, it's so it's choices again. And then covering that is the Eight of Swords because you're feeling quite stuck. Something's annoying you and making you feel stuck. The Eight of Swords is where you're looking at things from an old, stale point of view, stinking thinking. You need to change the way you look at things. Eight's a karmic. If you keep looking at things negatively or looking back to the past or how things used to be, you, you will be really stuck and you can be blocking things as well. So this is about changing your point of view and looking ahead positively. Then you move on to the seven of um, pentacles. Yes, because something's annoying you, like you've been earning your money or working hard at something or planning something, and you're now sort of stopping and thinking. Sevens are about learning. You're stopping and you're thinking, is this the way I want to live? Is this the way I want to keep doing things? Is this bringing me in enough money? So again, you're learning and changing. Sevens can be about overcoming fears as well. Oh, and another seven, the chariot. So the chariot covers that so the chariot is about victory this is a, to me it represents cancer family home so this is about you overcoming family problems family um, karma or family karmic debt but it's you now you've overcome all of these um, things and you now um, are taking the lead you have got your reins in your hand and you're moving forward and you're moving forward quickly and you're trying to work out what you want to do this can mean buying a new car or going overseas as well and then, like I said, covering the whole reading, Queen of Swords. So that's about not underestimating um, your own ability. You are very wise. You have learnt through the school of life. And yeah, be sharp. So be alert, be aware. Use your logical thinking rather than just your emotions. Because right next to it, clarifying it really, is the sun. Everything is going to work out positively and happy, happily. And what you're trying to work out and what to do is going to be well, good. You know, it's going to work out well. And then you've got the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is like needing a bit of a rest, needing a bit of 
a time out. Um, it can be where you, it's to get your mind and your thoughts back in order. So I, I always say go outside and be your feet, ground yourself, because you will get messages from above when you can calm your mind down, maybe do meditating, anything like that, getting your thoughts in order. So with the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords, it's telling you, because you guys run your life by your emotions, it's about trying to think more logically, not just, if you, see, if you know what I mean. And then you've got the Nine of Cups because, so covering all of this, is you're going to have something come true, something you've been wanting to happen, Nine of Cups, it's wishes starting to come, come true, and covering it, what you don't see behind the scenes is you being exhausted, the Ten of Wands, overworking, really tired, but that you're going to see the fruition, you're going to see the results from all that hard work. Or for some of you, it's healing, you're overcoming um, awful things that have happened to you, and that's what... The, the, a lot of these cards are representing the Four of Cups can be the things that you've gone through in the past and, you know, it's affecting how you think, the, why the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords is about healing and resting as well. And then you've got the star covering that too. So you've got the star and the sun. So things are going to come right. Just change your perspective on, on, on how you see things and how you look at things. Okay? So Pisces, your message is love matters. Where's the book? Oh, I've lost it. Put it away. Oh, no, here it is. Love matters. Um, look at the beautiful art. The way you handle things is important. There will always be many challenges and life lessons, as that is your part of this experience. Choose to learn from your encounters, get your heart ready to receive and allow for the various emotions you may be feeling. Consider what makes you happy. It is time for you to allow yourself a day of enjoyment. Love who you are and be willing to give and receive love unconditionally. And another message for a different part of your life, creativity. Express your inner magic through experimenting with some new materials or techniques. Your imagination is limitless, so explore its depths, Pisces. Well, that's interesting. Maybe go and do a course or start drawing, start journaling, bake a cake, anything to bring out your creativity because it brings love to the surface as well. Cancer, you have got assurance, number 14, which is quite funny in our family. It's like the number. It's always number 14. 14 beeps on the washing machine, believe it or not. Assurance, Cancer, remain steady and be assured you're doing exactly what you are supposed to do. You might be seeing small signs that things, situations and desires are just beginning to fall into place. Your focus and skills are intact. You will feel motivated in work areas and therefore make good inroads in your usual work. New ways of dealing with things will occur to you. Fresh perspectives will appear and as a result your life will move forward towards harmony and balance. Trust yourself. You have everything you need. Really important. And then communication. Communication is the key. Issues can be resolved by clear communication from both sides. Speak your truth, but also be willing to listen and compromise, Cancer. Listen and compromise, okay? And Scorpio, um, you have got... New experiences and possibilities. New experiences and possibilities. Look around in nature. Oh. New, notice the new beginnings, new experiences and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. If you're, oh, sorry, you're on the first steps along a new path, you're being offered a blank page. What are the first words you'd like to write on it? Your possibilities are endless. You are in complete control of your life and this is a new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant your seeds and willingly venture into new territory. And your other message is surprise. An exciting surprise is coming your way. An opportunity or an offer, a gift or a proposal. Something that will make your heart sing for joy. Um, Scorpio, that's lovely, isn't it? Oh, we match. We're all in tune with the colours. <laughs> okay, lovelies, have a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching. Blessings to you all. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.